Hi, this lesson is geared not only just for beginners, but this can also be for musicians or singers, or those of you who are studying music, and you want to get familiar with how to read music, okay? So one of the ways which is very helpful is using a piano or keyboard instrument to learn uh, how to begin to read music. So as you see in the diagram here, uh, you see the keyboard and you see where the, the notes, which are quarter notes, are lined up according to the note on the keyboard as well as lined up to uh, where it would appear on the musical staff. And so with uh, the piano, uh, any type of uh, keyboard instrument, we have two s staffs that we use. And when you put the two, the treble, the treble is the top one. That's the treble, and that's the treble clef. And you have the bass clef. And basically, as you see from middle C, the treble clef basically covers from the middle C on upward up the keyboard. And of course, if, uh, if you have a piano, it would go much further than some of the smaller keyboards. That might be 61 keys. And the bass clef, which goes from basically from middle C onward down to, to the, the C that you have here. Of course, it goes further, but um, this is for you who are just becoming familiar with the uh, musical um, uh, staffs and it's called the grand staff because with the uh, keyboard instrument you have the two, the treble and the bass but if, let's say if you're playing an instrument like a violin or flute you just would have the, the uh, treble clef and then that is also called the G clef because uh, the curl, you see the curl in the middle there it circles around the second line and when we refer to the lines we count from the bottom up so the second line one two that is what you call the G clef so that that would be the note right there and as you can see I got of course I got that covering part of it but you can see enough here where the middle C C D D E F G and you see the corresponding um, notes on the musical staff. So it uh, it will take you some time, and and it's uh, and I strongly recommend that, that you look at this this uh, the diagram and uh, have an actual keyboard or piano in front of you that you can begin to uh, get familiar with the. Uh, the sound as well as where the particular notes exist on the musical staff. Um, there's some other uh, techniques that you can begin to use that will help you uh, with that, uh, but that's for another uh, lesson. But for right now, we're giving you the uh, both uh, clefs and also uh, with names of the uh, bass clef that is also called the F uh, clef and the reason being that is where you see the black dot the big dot where it curls and it lands right on that dot and copying uh, counting from the bottom it's one two three four it's the fourth line counting from the bottom up and you also have the two dots there so this way that even emphasizes it as well and that and, and it gets its name as being the F clef because where the big dot is and the two smaller dots that on the top and bottom of it that line that fourth line is the F um, line and so if let's say if you didn't know any where any of the letters are uh, as far as where it appears on the musical staff the grand staff if you know where the F is and so I'm going to go on the keyboard here. And remember the F is always in front of the, the group of three 
are black keys as you can see on the diagram there and here on the actual keyboard so if you know where that note is you can figure out the rest on the musical staff um, and the same way with the G, with the G clef and and I said the curl of Q goes over the G you would know oh, okay that's the G and that's the the note of the group of three is the one that's the first one is in the middle you have the second one would be A so that would be G and so you'd be able to um, figure out going up and down with that but this is just uh, to help you become familiar with it and you have to really look at this and really study it there's some other uh, methods that you can get into but this is just to give you a broad uh, look at it and you can begin to take your time because uh, you're not going to get this overnight, so it takes uh, studying this and getting the sound of the actual instrument playing the keyboard or piano or organ in some cases. And in this way, you can uh, get familiar with it. Okay, wish you all the best in your studies.